How many times have you forgotten to soak sticky rice the night before and now you don't have time to wait? Well, I have the hack for you. Sabadi Pinong, hi fam. So I know this is a somewhat different angle for you all to see. This is also a different angle for me to be at. I've never been so close to my table. But I wanted a, a different vision of a new mini series. I'm gonna take you all on with me. It's gonna be about Lao kitchen hacks. This is gonna be how to make sticky rice in 20 minutes. I'm using about one cup of sticky rice uncooked right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bowl and put the whole cup right in there. What we're gonna do first is rinse your sticky rice. So this stays the same, this process. So go ahead and fill up your rice with some room temperature water and you're gonna rinse it. So you should see the starch leaving the rice and your water should become a bit cloudy with all that starch in there. I'm gonna get another bowl with the strainer, pour it all in, or just the water. And I wanna rinse the rice three times. Go ahead and put all the rice in there, let it catch everything, and then put the rice back into the original bowl. All right, y'all. So I have boiling hot water, be very careful. I'm gonna put it immediately into that rinsed rice and try your best to get all that rice coated, maybe an inch or two above the surface of the rice. See all that steam? I'm gonna go ahead and grab my phone and put 10 minutes of it just resting in boiling hot water. All right, everyone, my timer has gone off. And that means 10 minutes is over. I'm gonna grab my bowl with my strainer and go ahead and strain all that water out. And it's fine for it to be in there. And you're gonna wait for a couple seconds until all that water strains out. And that should be good. If it drips just like this, you're ready. So put it back in the bowl. You're not gonna add any extra water. All that soaked water from the original 10 minutes is just enough. So I'm gonna grab a plate, put it right on top, and this creates a steaming effect. What I'm gonna do is put in my sticky rice for three minutes and then wait. All right, y'all, it's done. So you can see all that steam, it's cooking the rice. At this point, grab a spoon and you wanna mix this. After it's well mixed, we're gonna put it back in the microwave for another three minutes. All right, y'all, it's done. I like using the traditional um, sticky rice mat that's used to um, get out all that extra heat from the rice. And put it all on here. And at this point, you wanna break up the sticky rice and get all that extra heat out. So this should be about just a minute of it weaving back and forth. And then I'm gonna grab my golden dip kao bamboo sticky rice holder. And I'm just gonna go into my hands. It's warm enough. And just roll it up into a ball. And you can see that just like steamed sticky rice, barely any sticking to my hands. And I'm gonna put it right into here. 
I like to eat my fresh sticky rice with my mom's fresh gel bong, a Lao spicy sweet dip. I'm already drooling. So like regular sticky rice, go ahead and grab your desired amount. And then you wanna crumble it into a ball. And with this process, I'm gonna show you how it's actually really well cooked. Look at this. Barely any stuck to my hand. It's in a clump. Just gonna go in, get a good amount of the paste. Mmm, that's good sticky rice. Of course, I prefer, you know, soaking my sticky rice overnight because that does give it a slightly different texture that we're all familiar with. But if for some reason you forgot to soak your sticky rice, go ahead and use this hack. This is my Lao Kitchen hack. First episode is sticky rice. Sticky rice in 20 minutes and hope you all enjoyed it.